Is bodybuilding dangerous? Bodybuilding is still somewhat of a novelty to a lot of people. From an outsider looking in, especially from the media and video magazines, you will see men with methodical-like physiques idolized by women and other men and held up on a pedestal as the pinnacle of the alpha male and in some cases of health. So why is it that one of the most well-known bodybuilders of all time fucked the grapefruit? Why is Ronnie Coleman in a wheelchair barely able to walk selling fat loss cream? And why did Arnold leave for the movies? I know this sounds like, or seems like a bit of a tangent, but it's important to realize the but that comes with bodybuilding that people don't often see. Because most of the time, people only see it for the surface level, and it's often the things that sit underneath that are the main issues. Like, I became slow as fuck, tight as fuck, unhealthier, and definitely unhappier. But... What do the general public and everyday gym goers think? Just be being the Olympia weekend this weekend. Yeah. What are your thoughts on like this kind of look? But, well, it's unnatural, isn't it? See, being that heavy, it can't be that good on your actual heart and your, to yourself. But <laughs> for most people, that's going to be unachievable. I don't think people understand really what you have to go through to get to that. I think it's, I think it's impressive. So I think it's amazing. It'd be nice to get that, but genetics and everything. A certain number of people on the planet can achieve that look. What are your thoughts on like competitive bodybuilding in general? I know people that have done it and they may look good on the day but they don't feel good. Yeah, Do you yeah. know what I mean? So again, a misconception. It's involved around that, isn't it? Everything, even getting in out of a car, being that big is going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to be a nightmare, sorry. The negatives would outweigh the positives for me personally. But in terms of to look like that specifically, I think that level of bodybuilding is a little bit different to would you let your kids do it no i mean i wouldn't do it to be fair myself yeah. but no yeah would i my kids do it <laughs> no i mean i've got mates that have gone through it doing it now and like i see what they get to and they're just they're not even happy it's better than being on the streets and going in and out of pubs every weekend isn't it there was some pretty mixed responses from the gym and i always expected this but this will also depend on which type of gym you go in and ask people the questions I did my first ever and only show in 2010 because I idolized people like Ryan Terry, Steve Cook, and although I enjoyed the training, there were things that I really hadn't taken into consideration. The sacrifices I would have to make to social life and going out, the low energy levels, lower sex drive, the not going out for 14 weeks, no drink, no meals out, living out of plastic boxes, and for me, losing the ability to fuck for a placid trophy and to be judged by someone I didn't even know and compare myself to others just wasn't the one. Not only did it contribute to my eating disorder at the time, but on this day, on this images, I was also, although looking my best, was the unhealthiest, the weakest and the worst that I'd felt. And it was what eventually led to me seeking therapy for my eating disorder just due to the continuous element of comparison. And it probably all stemmed from that competition that I did many years ago. Plus, the pay for bodybuilding is literally dog shit. Dog shit, unless you're at a very, very, very top level. Dog shit. The amount of time they have to pour into it. Obviously, what I'm telling you in this video doesn't apply to everyone. Some people have a great experience with it, and I don't want to push just my own personal experiences on other people, but. The other thing to know is that if you choose bodybuilding, you're fucked. Bodybuilding needs to choose you. You can pursue years of training, dieting, steroid use, and still never achieve or win anything. Saying genetics don't matter is like saying you could beat a Ferrari in a Ford Focus. And I'm not trying to put people off bodybuilding as I love it. It is simply the competitive side I do not agree with, as I believe it leaves more people in a worse off place. Like with anything in life, I think trying before knocking it is important, but just be aware of the other side of bodybuilding and the potential implications. I've never wanted to do well at something so badly in my life. A happier and healthier life might mean less muscles, but more memories. Good fucking morning, everyone. Yeah, I am fucking back. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like. If this is your first time visiting my channel, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.
Dump in the jump for the shit, up top when I 